Hi ladies, how's it going? Sherry here. I totally forgot to show you guys the my book, my description book for my cards in the Twin Flame reading. So if I feel guided to, I may read from it. Uh, so this would be the Major Arcana. So I'm still working on the other, the four suits. Okay, so this is going to be a Divine Feminine uh, Twin Flame reading for May the 9th until the 19th. So thank you for being patient with me while I was gone. I need to hermitize myself in order to get that work done. So impressed as to how quickly the information came to me. Amazing. All right, so I'm going to be doing a, um, a Celtic wing. And I'm, like the Twin Flame reading, I'm going to use these cards as well. So this is Fairy by Lenormand. So I'll pull one card per position. I'm going to use these for the main energy. And then I'm also going to be using uh, this Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. So I'll use one card per position for clarifiers. Sure missed you guys. Okay. So, beginning with your present position. Oh, interesting. Okay, the masculine got this as an outcome. Um, so, this is a feeling of, you know, the fox is deceptive, right? Cunning. Um, he sneaks away, gets away with doing things. So, this is your present position. Um, I know in your present position for the twin flame reading, you kind of felt a little clouded, like um, you weren't sure about things. Eight of Swords and the Six of Cups. Okay, so um, so there's an energy here of you feeling um, constrained. The Eight of Swords and Masculine got well, actually, it was an overall energy for the Twin Flame reading, the Eight of Swords. So I wasn't really picking that up from you, the feminine. I felt that that energy was coming from the masculine because he felt trapped, you felt trapped. So it's an oppressive energy coming from the outside. So it's a mental noise making you feel like you are in prison, like you can't move forward. Um, and it's because you don't, you feel like you are being deceived, possibly. Um, the Six of Cups is uh, a reunion, somebody coming back from the past, uh, and it has to do, you know, with somebody that you've known in your childhood or even a past life. It has to do with pure, innocent love. Um, so you are feeling this pure, innocent, open-hearted love, but at the same time you feel held back, and it's causing this sense of deception. Okay, foundation. Wow. Um, so, this is like being divinely guided. Oh my god, why can't I remember this card? 36. So I'm just starting to learn these cards, by the way. Uh, the cross. So, it shows resolution and acceptance. Uh, grace of solution and resolution. Okay, so you've resolved something. Clearly, it doesn't seem like it, though. Okay, let's see what else, though. Oh, Ten of Cups. Okay, so this is abundance. This is uh, the happily ever after. Um, it's, you know, an it's not an arrival. It's completion. So you felt this abundance of love. Hmm. Look at the way she's, that little fairy is kind of sitting there, almost like she's daydreaming. Okay, I finished something. Something's been resolved. Uh, I've contemplated, and you're, she's contemplating on this happy life. Seven of Pentacles. So you got this, I believe, in your present position for the... No, I don't know. That was probably in a private reading. Sorry, my apologies. Um, but the Seven of Pentacles, waiting. It's always waiting <laughs> uh, for the Divine Feminine. So because it's coming in your past position as the foundation, um, there's a sense that that wait is over that there's been a re resolution to that and you now feel 
you felt like this abundance of happiness. So this isn't for everybody, but this is what I'm getting from these three cards here. So there's a, a sense that you do feel united in some way with your twin, but at the same time you're being held back. There's a sense of deception. You don't know if you're being lied to or not. That if this happy ending, this ten of cups was a reality, um, but at the same time it's been resolved. Okay, recent past position. Okay. So the feminine got this as well in the twin flame reading. Um, it's that confusion. Um, so you would repre be represented by the, the clouds in the sky. Um, so it's an, a state of being in between movement. So it's wanting answers, um, wanting clarity, needing direction. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, the masculine got the Queen of Pentacles twice in his reading. And the Queen of Wands, or sorry, the Page of Wands. Um, so the Queen of Pentacles is the 3D queen, the physical queen, the one that you can hold and feel and kiss. Um, but she also represents abundance, independence, wealth. Uh, she can stand on her own. Uh, so you're being represented as this queen, I'm feeling, independent and wealthy, uh, but and grounded. And um, the Page of Wands has to do with communication. So um, it's like, you know, you had this mental clarity as a result of some kind of really good communication. So it's good news. Uh, this is also the um, the gasoline being poured on the fire. So it's an inspiration. It's, it's an explosive energy of happy feels. So I feel that maybe you made contact with the masculine in the 3D and it made you feel powerful and grounded. Um, or... Um, some form of communication came from an earth uh, female that gave you clarity. Um, hmm. So this is, you know, tr following your higher calling, your higher purpose. Uh, but it's, you know, making plans. It's being inspired. It's having that idea and uh, seeing that vision, that goal, uh, and making that decision to follow your higher calling purpose. So... Yeah. You guys are always so complex. Okay, so what is it you desire and likely to get? Yeah, of course. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Divine masculine is what you desire and likely to get. So the masculine got the feminine and you also got the divine masculine on your side as well. So and he also got uh, the Divine Masculine in his crossroads near future position. So um, you desire, you know, this connection, this, um, you desire the Divine Masculine. Oh, but he's not taking the love offer. And the Page of Wands again. Okay, so the Four of Cups. Um, so the Masculine got this in his foundation. It's, you know, offering, being offered a couple of and not receiving it. Or it's also a feeling of stagnation. Things aren't moving fast enough. So it's a scattered energy. So um, you want this energy to stop or end. And you want the masculine to come into his power, his true authentic self, and express himself. Oh, sorry, this is uh, the Page of Cups. <laughs> My bad. Uh, so the Page of Cups is y you want him to express his, his love to you. And it's something that you're likely to get. So, yeah. Okay, crossroads position. Wow, moon. Masculine got this as well in the crossroads, I think. Yes, I think so. Uh, so this is... Um, uh, facing your fears and let's see what else it comes with because it amplifies this card okay so uh, this energy is a reflective energy so it gives more power to the card above it so the high priestess is you the divine feminine connected to your 5d um, you got it uh, in your recent past for the Twin Flame and it also came up in what the Divine Masculine was bringing into the heart-centered energy 
that had to do with the Four of Pentacles. So um, your near future, this connection to your psychic ability, your intuitive knowing, this 5D connection to the Divine Masculine is going to be emphasized. Um, she is the ruler of the moon. So I think it's just, you know, it's um, amplifying, like I said, this power, this intuitive knowing that you have in connection to source and the divine masculine. Okay, what else? Well, I thought the high priestess was going to show up again. Okay, so five of cups. I was not expecting that. Uh, so this is um, heartache, loss. Uh, it's mourning energy. Um, so it's, you know, being attached to something. And then when that thing leaves, uh, it causes heartbreak. So, always so complicated. So, obviously, you know, um, somebody's not communicating towards, or communicating, and it's making you feel imprisoned. Um, you feel like you're being deceived. Like, is this just an illusion? Um, very clouded energy here for sure and in the crossroads I think that you're going to be releasing this pain um, you know moving through the darkness and connecting with your intuition okay so what are you resisting the Sun okay uh, so this is all the happy feels it could also represent masculine energy as well. Eight, of, nine of swords. Okay, and the ace of cups. So the masculine got this in his present position. So you are resisting reaching the sun or touching the sun, feeling good and happy and, and feeling love, which doesn't make any sense because you got the heart chakra in the reading. Um, I think you're just. I think you just don't realize what you have. You're concentrating too much on the fear. So the Nine of Swords is staying up at night. It's anxiety, stress. Um, but then again, it's in your resisting position. So, uh, you know, i got to give all angles here. So possibly you're resisting in this, being in this state of mind. Um, nope, because you, you got the Eight of Swords there. So, yeah, I'm feeling you feel trapped in this mental state. You're resisting seeing the good things in life, seeing this... Um, abundance is happiness um, it's kind of like a back and forth kind of energy wishy-washy you're trying to control those those um, demons basically goblins that want to whisper in your ear tell you you're not good enough okay internal wow so this represents like a the sinking hole it's putting energy, your time and resources into something and getting nothing in return. So this fairy did all the work and these two mice here are taking the reward. So it's, you know, not feeling appreciated. Um, so now I understand now why you feel this way. You're, you feel like you're not, um, you know, like you're giving yourself too much of yourself and not getting anything in return. Uh, but it's because you expect something which is, you know, why you're feeling the sadness. Uh, so it's, you know, releasing those expectations, those attachments to this, to an outcome. Ten of Wands, yes. So you feel like you're carrying all the burden. You feel like you're doing all the work. Uh, but the Ten is the completion of it. So put those Wands down and concentrate on yourself start doing things for yourself not for somebody else yes ten of swords cut away this darkness this fear uh, and concentrate on the happy things in life so you need to put that burner down so these are both tens so both completion even though you feel like you know um, you know there's a pit hole here of of energy that's being sucked away it's an ending to feeling that way so start concentrating on yourself okay so external nice this is beautiful so this is like the lover's card 
Um, yeah, I think I have the description here. Oh, jeez. Sorry about that. So, 24. Okay, so courage. So, it represents love, romance, relationship, and union. So, it's in your external environment. So, in this house, like the cowardly lion in the Wizard of Oz, this is the center of your courage and being true to your own self. It is the house of exposing your center and being strong in the broken places. This is the house of all heart. Here lies within all the wonderful things connected with having heart, courage, kindness, and consideration. So heart is at the matter of it. And it's, so it's an external energy. So it's coming from masculine. So there's a sense of him feeling love um, and the wanting union. Especially when you watch the Divine Masculine reading as well. There's that sense that he wants to make, you know, this movement forward, but he's afraid to do it in the 3D world, which is represented by the Queen of Pentacles here. Um, okay. Wow, the Death card. Isn't that beautiful? I love the Death card, but that's a beautiful card, isn't it? Look at the colors. I love bright colors like that. I just want to eat it. It's like candy. And the moon. Interesting. Okay, so it's an external environment. So uh, the death card, the masculine got that in his reading. So it's putting an end to the material world, to um, your old identity, your old life. So right now, this is the energy that the masculine is in. So he's going through the dark night of the soul. we got the moon again here. That There's that facing your fears and letting go of the darkness. And he's doing it because he wants to feel love. And you're doing the same thing. You realize that you've been, you know, carrying too much on your shoulders and you're ending you're ending something. You're putting an end to the darkness as well. You guys are mirroring each other in energies. Very similar. Okay, so the final outcome for these three cards. Wow, key. So the feminine got this in a present position along with the heart chakra. So you um, have the key to unlock yourself, you know, from that prison. So, uh, or it could mean you're locking something away as well. Duality there. Three of Cups and Queen of Wands. <laughs> oh, she makes me laugh. Okay, so the Three of Cups. You're unlocking the door to love. The masculine got very similar energy. He wants to put an end to something so that he can um, feel love. So the Three of Cups is two people coming together to create a third energy, which is love, and celebrating that love. And the Queen of Wands is uh, the Queen of No Fucks Given. So she's a very powerful woman. Uh, and the masculine got to king of wands in his reading uh so there's a sense of you guys both stepping into your power uh onto your spiritual path and um making shit happen basically you have the co the key to this prison to this door you can end the suffering um and it seems to me like you do do that you release yourself and you step in your power and um you celebrate the love in your life Okay, so foundation, nice, beautiful. So very similar to the Ten of Swords, very similar to the Death card. It is cutting away everything that doesn't serve you anymore. And so that something new can come in, Ten, completion. Two Pentacles. And the Fool card. Finally, something I could read <laughs> from my book. Um, I don't have the moon printed out, unfortunately. So I began to read it. I think it was a twin flame. Yeah, in the Divine Masculine reading. Okay, so the full card from my book. Okay, so it says, Zero is not a number, only man's attempt to describe something that does not exist. It is the void, the singularity, source. 
It is a space between thoughts. It is nothing, and yet all life is born of it. It is the ever-present state of now occupied by the soul. The person in this image is about to take a step into uncharted territories. It is the moment before inception. He is standing on the precipice of time and space that radiates, radiates out in all directions. He isn't afraid, worried, or anxious. In fact, he appears carefree, almost childlike, unencumbered by fear, attachment, or expectations, oblivious to the perils and challenges that await him. The card describes a state of pure potential. It is the liberating feeling of freedom and unlimited power that comes from taking a leap of faith. We never know what the future holds, but like the fool, we must take a brave leap forward, trusting in spirit to guide you. So this card encourages you to believe in yourself and follow your heart, no matter how crazy the idea seems. Take a chance. So, right on. So you are putting an end to that, and you are... The new beginning is in your future. So the Two of Pentacles has to do with making a decision in uh, the 3D world. And while that change is occurring, there's a sense of feeling unsteady, but you're asked to be resilient while these changes are occurring. And the, ma um, the masculine got the Two of Pentacles. So there's this definite change that's occurring for sure. Like a final release almost. Okay, final outcome. So this is uh, being divinely guided, very similar to that cross energy, except for the cross energy is, you know, resolution. Uh, but it also has to do with divinity, do you know what I mean, spirituality. Um, so this is being guided by spirit. Uh, so the word auspices <laughs> uh, is in the description, so that has to, be with, uh, has to do with divinity. Um, so this also represents um, socializing. Um, it has to do with social media and stuff like that. So um, chatter, uh, gossip, that kind of thing. So as a final outcome, you're getting that card. Interesting. Four Pentacles and two Pentacles again. Okay, so Four Pentacles is feeling closed off, holding on too tightly to something, you know, um, um, not letting somebody in. Then the Two Pentacles, once again, repeated energy here of a decision that is being made in the 3D. But then again, you know, it also feels like, you know, this burden, you know, you feel like you're juggling too many balls at one time, right? So you're putting down that burden, you're putting down um, the wands, taking those swords out of your back and there's a sense that you might become closed off in order to heal yourself and allow the change to occur but ultimately you are being divinely guided so you know maybe some kind of chatter comes in some kind of communication that makes you feel unsettled what I'm feeling here Okay. I think, um, you know, you got this Four of Pentacles at the heart of the reading for the Twin Flame. So it's grounding energy. It's holding on to that and firmly and not letting go. So, yeah, I'm reading that more of a fact that this is a firm foundation, has been grounded since that was the main energy for the Twin Flame. Uh, and the feminine brought in uh, four particles. What did you bring in with that? Oh my god, it's, I, sorry, I can't remember. I know that. Oh, yeah, you, you were bringing in the two of wands, so making a decision in the past. So you were, had this door open. Uh, so, yeah, the decision becomes grounded in the 3D as a final outcome, and it's because of this divine guidance is what I'm feeling here and maybe it will come in uh, as communication I don't know okay so I'm gonna look at the bottom of the deck nice so this is kind of like the star card so it's luck it's more or less like wish granted um, 
so this also has to do with um, seeing your way clearly. So it's like answers, it's direction. So, you know, the, the main energy that I was feeling in your reading is this sense of an oppressive energy that really isn't your energy, but it's reflected in your reading. Um, even though it's playing out in your reading, there is a sense that you're really not attaching to it, even though it keeps nipping at your ankles. Um, you know that it is a reflected energy from the masculine. He's going through a massive, tra massive transformation, ending something, releasing something. But here, remember that here you sit at the core of the reading, this powerful, intuitive woman. So if you're feeling heavy energy, um, you know, release it. And, you know, that could be, you know, using the moon to your advantage. I know there's a full moon um, coming up soon. So, you know, write down um, all the things that you want to release and write it on a piece of paper and then burn it on the night of the full moon. And so that sets an intention, it's a release, an ending, so that new things can come in. But ultimately, you know, use your intuition, your own inner knowing, in order to fight off those that energy which you are doing. So, yeah, you hold the key always, and you're aware of that. But sometimes we forget, right? Okay, so let me read a card from Myths and Mermaids. So another new deck. And again, I only read a couple of the cards, so this is going to be a surprise to me as well. Water elements. Water elementals. Okay. I haven't read that one before. It's number 10. Oh, I'm stoked I was able to read something for you guys. Let me know if it made any sense. I'm looking for an editor because I know I have run on sentences like a mofo. Okay, so water elementals. Let me weigh the matter carefully. Slowly sift results to even out the balance of the sea. When everything is in harmony, in symmetry, in peace, then everyone can finally be free. A group of three water nymphs. <laughs> Why does it make me laugh? <laughs> okay, nymph. Um, lounge in a pond, deep in contemplation. Joined by their dolphin fish friend. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, joined by their dolphin fish friend, they rest and ponder under a darkened sky among the reeds and water. Yes, that's what I'm getting. It's definitely... Uh, a darkened en element here, but you are using it to your advantage, is what I'm seeing here. Okay, so, the meaning. All will become balanced. Lately, you've, you have had your share of ups and downs. There have been many instances of confusion and times when you have felt pulled in several di directions at once. External stressors have been wreaking havoc. Everything from unpredictable weather to unstable relationships. Uh, can have impact on our emotional outlook. Fear not, my friend, for it won't be long before you, before your life and body regain their natural sense of harmony and balance. You may need to reevaluate the aspects of your life that are giving you the most trouble and try setting some appropriate boundaries. If someone is taking too much of your time and energy, and that's exactly it, someone is taking too much or giving too much, uh, and energy, it is all right to limit their presence and influence. Look to the near future and breathe a deep sigh of relief. Once you, once again, you will feel calm, clear headed, and motivated to live life to the fullest. So, yeah, in the near future, that's what I'm feeling. You, you, you're closing off in order to free yourself, literally. Look at that. You're on this bird and you're like flying around like a fairy in the wind. So, I think you need to close yourself off to a certain degree in order to 
close that sinkhole because you're giving too much of yourself and you need to you know um, you know heal yourself basically but also close yourself off in order to reconnect with your um, high priestess in you okay so I love you guys and I hope this helped let me know if it resonated love you